David, yeah. you just went, I just saw you riding your bike. Where are you coming from? Kentwood. What was you doing in Kentwood? I'm trying to look for work to do. I was in jobs. How'd you get there? I didn't get it today. I ride my bike. Picture one, I come down, picture one, it look like a safe place. How many how many miles is that, David? Well, I don't know, I think it's about three or four miles. And you ride your bike looking for a job. Yeah. Why do you ride your bike? Well, it's all the transportation I got. I can't afford no vehicle. Do you think we should have the bus, the public bus on 51? Yes, How would that public bus help you, David? It'll help me find work and I, you know, it'll help older people too. People that don't have no transportation. They can't pick them up. They need somewhere to, you know, back and forth for the store. Like, there ain't no store in the town. Behold, you know, they got the dollar store in that little high price store. But other than that, there's no supermarket. There ain't no supermarket, but, you know, with meat and stuff that people need and stuff. So I go up there. So, as a citizen, you think there's a bus, that there should be a public bus? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. help a lot. People that don't have no transportation can't afford a car and a truck or whatever. I know I can't. That's why I ride my bike. I, had to, you know, that's all I, to do. I just came from the Kentwood looking for work, couldn't find me. So I come down back and go to the house. Name? Michael Boyd. Michael, do you think that we need public transit on Highway 51? Yes, we need tra public transit on 51. What do you think? We need transportation back and forth to Kentwood. Back and forth, I work, I work on 51. I work on, on in Kentwood, so I need transportation. We don't have, some people don't have vehicles, you know. We have to pay for different rides back and forth. You know, I have to make groceries up to Amy. And I have to get pay for people to give me a ride to Amy to go bring up. I don't have no vehicles. A lot of people don't have vehicles around here. You know, that's why I need a transportation kind of. People like to get around. So how do you get to work? Uh, we have to, I have to have walk to 51 and hit a ride from somebody from work to the catch the bus up there, kind of, you know. And sometimes I like to go do shopping up there, you know. I can't get up there all the time. In Kentwood in or Kentwood Amen. Or Amen, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes when I want to go to Ham, you know, take care of business in Ham. It's a social security place up there, you know. I can't get up to Ham, you know. So people like to get around with, with our trams or using public trams, so that'd be easy for them, you know. And well, just, is there any doctor's office or medical care here in um, Fluker? No, they're not. You have to go where to Independence or you have to go where to Amy. What happens if you don't get a ride there? You have to call the ambulance and they're going to cost you. Cost, it'll cost you a lot when you go to the ambulance. If you have pressure, you ain't got a ride. You can get a bus, you got a doctor from you can catch the bus. So you really need transportation down here. It's had to, it's been due for a long time to have transportation in Hammer. They have no transportation down here. Well, I think it would be a wonderful thing for to have a bus coming back and forth here. Transportation, you go to the doctor and you get weighed on. Sometimes you have to wait two hours. Okay. Do you remember when transportation was last in this area? That must have been in the 60s, hmm. uh, the late 71. Wow. Okay. It's been a while. How would the bus been? How would you benefit if there was a bus? Well, it would do me a whole lot of good. So right now my car broke down and I had to get somebody to bring me back and forth. Okay. And is it expensive? Yeah, uh, yes. You have to pay someone every time? You have to pay. Get, do we need a bus down here to go tram, tram table, get a bus from here to, to, to Hamlet, to Independent. Because we don't have no tram table, we can get around faster, we get a bus. We don't have a vehicle, so we need a bus to. So it's, been, it's, due, it's been due for a long time, you know. They have transportation in Hammer, bus service in Hammer. They don't have it in Independence. They don't have it in Roosevelt. They don't have it in Amy, no, in Fluka, Amy, and Kentwood. You can't get around without a bus. Do you hitchhike sometimes? Huh? Do you hitchhike? Sometimes you got to hitchhike. You go on the highway, you got to throw your finger out and hope somebody pick you up. They go on that way. You got to hitchhike back. Sometimes you don't get a ride. You have to walk back from Amy to down here. <laughs> That's the only way you can get around. Or here to Kenwood. Got to hit that garage. Right. right now, they need transportation around. Without transportation, they we back in the, what, back in the 40s? <laughs> back, way back, back, back in the days, you know. Got transportation all over. Baton Rouge, we got transportation, you know. 
No oil in the goddamn machine, go right about here. What, what is it, what is it, it cost? That much to get transportation? The riders will look for you to catch a bus, you know?